All right, everybody. Happy Change Wednesday. 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 Woohoo! When Change Wednesday. Peace plus one. Join the fun in Conscience Land. We are here in Hong Kong this time uh, to be part of the solution, right? And 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 you know we have so many things uh, happening in Hong Kong. Uh, can we first introduce ourselves? Maybe starting with uh, Howard. Hi everyone, I'm from New York University, Abu Dhabi. My name is Howard and I'm here in Hong Kong for an internship. Cool. Super awesome. My name's Keith. I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. Been here all the time and then I'm a personal trainer. I own a few businesses and then I'm also into the Web3 space. Excelento, excelento. Web3 space. I'm also, I used to teach here in Hong Kong at the Chinese University of Hong Kong and lecture at HKU and now it's uh, how do we make the world a better place in conscience land and later on we'll talk about you know NFTs and mm -hmm. sort of blockchain stuff and all kinds of cool stuff that people here know a lot about. Who have we got here? I am Charmaine. I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. I'm a recruiter um, in a recruitment agency. <laughs> That's fantastic. So uh, I see that these microphones are sort of out of the way and too, I mean, they're too much in the way. Um, and and you, you must excuse our little bit funny setup. We've got, what, what kind of a stick is this? Is it? It's, a, it's like a quietza. It's like a... Quietza. We call it chopsticks. Chopsticks, yeah, yeah, yeah. I call it the candy cane microphone. <laughs> That's right. Very nice. So we, we had some issues with the microphone, so now we're going down to very basics. So I hope this works out. All right. Change Wednesday of the day. We do three things. Number one. Smile. Smile, <laughs> smile and make other people happy. When you make other people happy, how do you feel? Happier. Okay, good. You're you're normal. So that's happy. I'm normal. <laughs> happy and normal. Uh, so that's the first thing: is smile and make other people happy. Why? Because it's it's good for you. It's good for the community. It just just love raises the level of, of vibration, right? Makes sense. Exactly. Second thing: change, change something about who? Myself. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to change something about yourself because you can't change other people. Right? You can think you can change other people, but you actually can't do it. So that's the second thing. It's, it's a, a change something about yourself. We say stop bad habit and start a better habit. Yeah, start a good habit. You know, start like we know what we need to do. We just don't do it typically, <laughs> right? You're a personal trainer. You Enjoy know, time. I know all my clients do that. I'm like, I need a better body, but I'll go drink. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to... And then I'll eat fried chicken. Right, exactly. It's like a dilemma. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay, so, and then the third one, the third one is unplug. Now, Howard, I know you're a computer whiz and, and, <laughs> and user of social media and so on. What about unplugging? What do we need to do every Wednesday? It's just, you know, like unplug yourself from the digital devices like phones or maybe just laptops for a while at least. Right. At least three hours. We, this is the suggestion. What you do is what you do. We can't force anybody to do anything. We're, not, we're trying not to. But for three hours every Wednesday, probably evening, right? Makes more sense. During the day, you've got work to do. You've got a life to lead. You know, you, you, it's pretty hard for you to turn off your phone. But for three hours in the evening, turn your bloody phone off go for dinner with people or or at your home d eat with people t keep your phone off talk to your family mm -hmm. and friends face to face what a concept yeah. <laughs> right? breaking news right breaking news breaking news, breaking news. we are uh, uh speaking face to face because there's so much more how much more information what, what is the percentage charmaine of, of the information that we um did I ask you to introduce yourself? I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yes. I did. <laughs> you did? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I was just thinking. Um, like, what is it? Like, 80% of the information that we communicate is, like, nonverbal? Mm-hmm. 80%. I, I'm not sure. Do you mm -hmm. know about that statistic? That's around the statistic for, like, general like population. When you're, when you're communicating with somebody, yeah. when you're communicating with somebody, uh, I forget the, the statistic, obviously, but there's a, a huge percentage of the actual information that you're getting, you know, face to face, yeah. that is not words. Yeah. It's nonverbal. 
Facial reaction. Facial reaction, body, body position. Yeah. Look at all these guys. These guys with the, Look at the how shorts. we're sitting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, like, uh, you know. There you go. So, yeah. okay. So that's fun. So there's the three things that we do every Wednesday, or we try. We try to encourage other people to do every Wednesday. Smile and make other people happy. Change something about yourself. Stop a bad habit and start a good habit. And unplug, which is, you know, Put your phone aside, turn it off, ideally, and, or pile them up. You know that, that game, you know, when you go out and eat and you, you turn off your phone and you, you put it oh, in, in the middle. middle. Or, or, or you so. don't turn it off and it rings and you pay for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, you know, have fun. I mean, this will, like, life is short. <laughs> yeah, is. Uh, you know, do yeah. some fun things and don't be controlled. That's the main, the main issue. So that's Change Wednesday. And, you know, what we're trying to do in conscience land you know we're trying to do in conscience land is we're trying to get people to share that message mm-hmm. right so w- one thing we've already done it but I want it for the, for the sake of people who might be watching let's do let's show what we would like other people to do with their friends and family and that is not, not only do the change Wednesday smile change and plug <laughs> but before that even Become a citizen of Conscience Land, mm-hmm. right? So to become a citizen of Conscience Land, there are three questions. Did I? I think I did this with you, didn't I? Three questions. Number one question: Do you have a conscience? Yes. Okay, good. Check mark. You're normal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're normal. normal. You are a normal human being. You have a conscience. Okay, here, but here's the second question: Do you act on your conscience? Yes. You do. Well, you're perfect. Okay, but you know, and 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 this is this is my commentary here, because of hundreds and hundreds of people who I've I've done this with. We don't act on our conscience all the time. We we'd like to. We should. We should be able to, but we can't, right? Because of the real world out there, it doesn't allow us to do so. So the, I, I my own suggestion. You don't have to answer this way, but my own suggestion is the answer to do you act on your conscience is. I try. I try. You know, yeah. I try my best. Like, I don't do it all the time, not because I don't want to, but because, there you know. limitations, which is like hindering you to do something in real life. So right. we can only try our best to act. Well, you're a functions. trainer. You know that, like, people, can yeah. you immediately do chin-ups, attention? Not no. Really. You need time. You need to invest in time to you actually to polish that. Yep. Try. Yep, you need to keep on trying. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it's a little different. The yeah. Physical world, mental world, you know, spiritual world. Third question. Do you serve your community? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Well, that's that's a, a tough one. I think that's a good, <laughs> that's I think, a good I think question. This is the perfect rea- reaction. <laughs> you heard how slow that came out. Reflecting, uh, thinking. Yes. Which is the probably completely true. Why? Because you don't all the time, or you don't as much as you would like to do, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So you say yes because, or or yes because, all of us we want to participate and interact and and serve our community, but can, you know, <laughs> does life allow us to do that? Mm-hmm. Not really. You know, our jobs take us, keep us, uh, you know, in a certain track and so on and, and so on. Okay, so, but you answered the three, the three questions in the affirmative. So, bingo bongo, you are a citizen of conscience land, yep. right? And, 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 and do you have a conscience? Yes, I do. Okay, do you act on your conscience? I try. You do you serve your community? Trying really hard. Bingo bongo. Give, uh, give Howard the mic. Do you have a conscience, Howard? Yes. Do you act on your conscience? Yes. Ooh. I try to. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, he probably does, but he is also trying. Okay. And do you serve your community? I try my best. Perfect. Okay. Bingo bongo. Yay. 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 So that's the, you know, okay. So we agree. And would that be, can it be fun actually to do it with, with friends and family? Sure. You know, because you can have this conversation. 
it's just fun. Like, do you perfectly operate uh, in the world? No, none of us do. So, so let's not be so hard on ourselves. All right. Now, along with now that we're all citizens of conscience land, because we have a conscience, we know we have a conscience. We try to act on our conscience. We try to serve our community best we can ask of anybody. Next is the affirmations. Okay, three affirmations. Do you know what affirmations are? Um, yes. Like promises. Mm -hmm. Sort of promises to yourself. That's kind of an affirmation. Affirming. Affirming, yeah. Affirming. Yeah. So uh, there's three affirmations. Number one. Conscious? Uh, no, I didn't give you the prompt, so that's okay that you didn't know. Uh, the first one is, I do no harm. Have you heard of that before? Yeah. I do no harm. I do no harm. I do, no harm. Do, do you know what it's from? Mm. It's called the Hippocratic Oath. Hippocratic, Hippocratic Oath. Do you know what the Hippocratic Oath is? It's like you act... Hippocratic means like you you act as if you are... Not hypocritical. No, Hippocratic. Oh. It's Hippocrates. Yeah. It's a. It's a. Who is Hippocrates? Who is Hippocrates? Anyway, he was in medical. He was a med the the founder of of in Greece. He was a, he's a medical person. Okay. A medical person. And the Hippocratic oath mm -hmm. is the oath that doctors take. Mm -hmm. You know, when you become a doctor, yeah. to do no harm. Right, your doctor. You're not a doctor to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> you're a doctor to heal people. Yeah. Right. So that's the Hippocratic oath. So in Conscience Land, our first promise to ourselves is the same one. I do it's no harm. I do no harm. Now, do we do harm? Yes. 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 Yeah. We just walk along the ground and we're crunching plants and bugs and you know. I mean. We, we can't wake up in the morning without doing harm, and probably when we're asleep we're doing harm. You know, we are not perfect, and we are not so wonderful, so we have to compensate for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so when we say we, I do no harm, we have to begin to think in our daily lives, what are we doing that does harm, and shouldn't we stop that? Mm -hmm. And the answer is, yeah, we should yeah. stop that. Okay, so that's the first affirmation, I do no harm. The second affirmation is... I do not fear. Fear. Mm -hmm. That's a toughie. Yeah. yeah. Why is why is why do you think, Charmaine, that I do not fear would be difficult for some people? Because um, I don't have much courage mm -hmm. and confidence. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's exactly right. I think mm -hmm. I think most people are living in fear. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're living in fear of what other, other people think about them, living in fear of what, you know, authorities would do if they cross the street in the wrong way, you know. Like, you know, th we're, we're living in fear of breaking rules, of, of, of all this kind of stuff, right? Now, are rules there for a good reason? Yes, yes. most of them are, you know. Wear your seat belts and don't cross on the... <laughs> don't jaywalk. Don't jaywalk. I mean, I do, but, you know, like... Uh, oh, I said I did. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Like... You tried. You tried. Yeah, you tried. Like and and so anyway. So there's. The, I do not fear. Is really about. Let's also be aware that a lot of the of a lot of our behavior is based on reacting in a fearful way. Mm -hmm. Like we're not. If it's a dangerous thing to do, and there's some fear from being hit by a car or eaten by a monster or something like, fine, that's normal, yeah. right? But so much of what we how we operate is a fear of something that's not we shouldn't be fearing it we shouldn't be worried about it right that's facts yeah that's facts yeah. Mm. so okay so that's the second one that is i do not fear if you affirm this to yourself do you live in fear yeah sure all of us do in some degree yeah. but if you say to yourself i do not fear it gives you the it opens your mind mm. to think what is it i'm Fearing, like what is it that I'm feeling the feeling of fear? What's what? Where is this coming from? And if you investigate it, it's probably nothing, or it's probably not worth fearing. Yeah, you may discover that. A hundred percent, I agree on that part. Yeah, you know. So also, physical training. Whenever we do like crazy heavy weights, hitting personal records, we do have a fear, like for the weights. Like, it might crash me, it might do a lot of things, but then a lot of times we tell ourselves, like, try not to fear it. Like, we have a fear, of course, but then 
do it hit it first and see and, and i would not that i'm a personal trainer but i would say to you that i'm sure you as a personal trainer and as a fitness expert you would say to people look don't fear the weight but prepare be you know lift it the right way have your right muscles you know strengthen don't go into something and say well i'm just afraid and then try it in a way that's not safe mm -hmm. yeah of course you're going to hurt yourself and then that fear will come true because you're overshooting like overshooting a lot go for something more subtle it's like step by step stack exactly. that achievement up totally. and then eventually you build that confidence exactly over certain things so it's not unwarranted confidence yep. it's confidence that comes from yourself Ex literally it's exercising yep. exercising it's I, exercising I think your it confidence comes from, and your yep. muscles it's like yep it's like progressively overloading your confidence bit by bit by and then seeing up. that you can do it yep. right 100%. Like you, 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 you oh, say, I oh, have that in already, I should be able to pull this off. It's basically like that. Right, right. How I see it. But if you sort of say, if you're not, like, there's a reason for fear, right? What's, what's the reason for fear? Why, why do human beings have this, this mechanism of fear? What, what is that for? Survival? I think it's survival. Mm -hmm. Self protection, survival. I think, like, mm -hmm. if there's a big tiger. <laughs> <laughs> right, right yeah. after you. Mm -hmm. Is it good to fear? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very mm -hmm. good to fear. Mm -hmm. It's like flight. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's your fight or flight response. And so, if you didn't fear, mm -hmm. what would happen? Uh, it would be quite dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> pretty dangerous. Mm -hmm. So fear keeps you out of danger. Mm -hmm. Right. Fear keeps you out of danger. But uh, but I think what we're saying here is that I do not fear is is so that okay let us evaluate what's really going on mm -hmm. not what the media is telling me not what my even my friends or family is telling me let me analyze for myself what is the danger here what is the consequence of taking this road or taking this road or not moving at all or you know what is the consequence of this most probably and what what can i do about it should i move should I not move? Should I run away? <laughs> or should I even uh, cower in fear? Okay, so we won't overdo it, but you get the drift of why we're, we're talking about this, yes. these affirmations. I do no harm in that I'm, I'm not operating my life based on violence, mm. you know, against other people. It's not forcing anything. Yeah. It's go with the flow. Be like water, you know, yeah, do the like do water. the Bruce Lee, do like the Bruce Lee thing, yeah. right? Be like water. Go with the with the natural mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the do not fear. I'm sure Bruce Lee has some fantastic quotation about fear. I don't know what it is. Do you know? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. So so okay. So here we go. So what was the first one? The first uh, affirmation. I, I do no know. harm. Right. What was the second affirmation? I do, I do not, not fear. fear. Right, perfect. So the third affirmation is kind of like the third question, do you have, you know, or do you serve? But in this case, it's I, because it's an affirmation, mm -hmm. I leave it better than I found it. Nice. So whatever the circumstance, right, whatever the situation, you leave it better than you found it. So, give an example. Uh, well, we we are all friends, but but you know, say the say it was the first time you came, mm -hmm. right? And I, first time I met you. What is my objective to leave it, uh, leave you, like to make you feel not friendly toward me? No, of course, my desire is to leave the situation better mm -hmm. than I found it. Yeah. So if we treat people in this way and we say, I hear my alarm going off here or somewhere. It's oh, over it's over there. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Is that time's up or? No, it's not time's up. It's just uh, um, it's just uh, Hold on. Sorry. We'll have to edit this part. Yeah, cut it out. We'll have to edit this part. Okay. 
All right, we're back. <laughs> we're back. So hello, everyone. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome we were, back. We were just talking about uh, the affirmations, the the, the 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 three the three questions and the, the the three affirmations, and we got through. I do no harm. I do not fear, and I leave it better than, better better than, than, than I, I found, found it. it. Mm-hmm. And so that purpose of I leave it better than I found it is so that we use this great skill this courage mm-hmm. really it's courage that we're kind of generating by not fearing yeah. and, and and not not no, no, knowing that we're not the primary source of pain in the world we're not hurting we're not harming people yeah. around us in situations we're, like it's the opposite we're trying to heal you know situations relationships yeah. and so on so that gives people courage, courage. Mm-hmm. that gives people courage because they know that they don't have that many enemies. They have enemies. We all have enemies, you know? Yeah. But mostly our enemies, honestly. It comes from within. Well, mostly it comes from within, actually. But mm-hmm. let's say the ones that are outside of our own body. <laughs> right. Uh, the, most of the enemies are like they're damaged people themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, people traumatized, broken, broken majority people. Of time. And jealous. Jealous. Yeah, jealousy. jealousy is a huge thing. I'm it discovering in my old age. <laughs> <laughs> you know? People. Comparing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. Comparing. Man. Oh, that you, hurts you, a lot. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, yeah, it hurts a lot to the people around who, you. Well, you're right. It hurts a lot to the people who are jealous and comparing. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it hurts the people who are the subject of the comparison, oh, yeah. too. Yeah. Because, you know, you might say, oh, they're such a nice friend. But then behind that is some jealousy or some thing. And behind your back, mm. you know, this other person who, you, they really do want to like you. And you do like them. Mm-hmm. But they are, what is it called? Green with envy. You know, They're, they're not um, functioning on the level, the spiritual mm-hmm. level yeah. that... that, that uh, yeah, that value isn't jamming, like not vibing. Yeah, they're not vibing. Not vibing, yep. They're not vibing with you. Yeah. you, you they're, you're vibing, and you're trying to do good and trying to make the world a better place, yeah. but they're kind of stuck in themselves and their ego and... Comparing, comparing and saying, you know, I, oh, but, you know, she's got much smarter and much better than me. And, you know, she's got a, you know, nice friends and, you know, like, like I, I want that. And so my way of, of, uh, of getting that is to bring her down. Mm-hmm. Right. Disaster. Have you ever heard of that? Jealousy and its finest form. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. I mean, this is, this is really the way it yeah. seems to work, I'm afraid. I'm sa- sad to say. And it's not always like it's not always the idiots and the the people you generally don't even really want to be around that are doing this. Sometimes it's the people that are really close to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so sad. I think it happened to everyone before. Mm. Like everyone can kind of resonate with this. Like having a really good friend and then kind of breaking the relationship out of one party's jealousy or comparison. Comparison. Yeah. yeah well, jealousy is it's comparison. Strong comparison. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, this is why Conscience Land, I think, what we're doing is kind of cool. Is yeah. because it, it's so simple, right? Mm-hmm. It's three things. Mm-hmm. Well, there's six things. But, you know, six there's things. Three, things, things. Uh, it's, it's, it's three things. It's a question. One question, really. Do you have a conscience? Do you act in your conscience? Do you serve the community? That's one question. One big question. It's one big question. Messed up, and but then we yeah. got the following up part. Right. Yeah. And then the, the other question is, you know, do you fear? I mean, do you harm? Do you do fear? You and what is it you're doing about it? Mm. Leave it better than when I found it. Yeah. So it's sort of kind of really two questions. Mm-hmm. And even that is really one question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you a citizen of conscience then? Do you act on your conscience to make the world a better place? Mm-hmm. Or do you just act in your conscience to be jealous, you know, to steal things, to be, you know, a jerk? Like what? <laughs> to be a bum. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. To be a bum. To be a bum, you know, like. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's not get depressed here. This is all happy stuff. This yeah. is actually good stuff. It's a really good reflection, actually, when we're talking about this. Because 
I think this kind of brings reflection to everyone hearing this and then really looking at themselves deeply and thinking, oh, what kind of person I am? What can I change to be a better person for the community and even for themselves? For themselves. Yep. Yeah. Be really selfish, actually, in, you know, not in a bad way, but be That's selfish a good way. in a, a good, good way. way. Mm-hmm. It's a good way. You're doing that smile and make other people happy and change something about yourself and unplug. You're doing it for you. It's mm-hmm. like you're healing yourself and then you heal the others. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Comes first. Always comes from You within. have to heal you. It's so, I mean, it's like actually impossible, right? To, 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 I 100% to, agree. To, you know, to, it, is, it is actually impossible to help anybody else, to help your community, to help the earth. It's, it's not even possible mm-hmm. if you are all messed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? It's yeah. not possible. Like, Philip, have you heard about a saying that if you don't love yourself, how can you love others? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Precisely. So this is the effort we're, we're trying to do here in Conscience Land. We're right now Hong Kong. Okay. Hong Kong is actually a fantastic place to do this mm-hmm. because families are tight. You know, mm-hmm. families are close. Yeah. Uh, people are... Uh, Conservative, you know, they're 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 pretty much, you know, family like uh, oriented. <laughs> oriented. Don't want to change too much. Like all cultures implanted heavily uh-huh. in the values. Right, yeah. and and there's nothing wrong with that stuff. That's yeah. it's all good. Um, and so if we can uh, uh, Cantoneseify, <laughs> if we Cantoneseify, you know, if we can make this in. You know, native language, like it make this in in, in Chinese Mandarin, ways. I'm not even thinking so much of language, although clearly to communicate with people, it's better in their native language. But I'm actually thinking in terms of examples of, of you know, celebrities and mm-hmm. the people, people who were saying here, these are the kind of people that do this. Well, we want to use Chinese examples, right? We don't want to say like, mm-hmm. oh, it's some guy from South Africa or some guy from <laughs> England, or, you know, is, 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 a, is the ideal. No, because look, we're all uh, you know we all have this problem with uh, with races and, and, and groups and, and mm-hmm. languages and religions and, and, and skin colors and stuff. We all have problems with this. So you know, no matter almost what we say. Mm-hmm. So it's really it, the, the truth is we have to localize mm. these things like we're talking about with mm-hmm. conscience land. Conscience land is where it's wherever your feet are touching the ground. Mm-hmm. That's where conscience land is. It's it's in your, it's in your head, yeah. and your heart. Yeah, you know that's where it is. It doesn't not physically existing anywhere. Yeah, and it's also a super good thing to actually put this out in Hong Kong because I think you, if you guys have looked at the statistic, basically it's like everyone got some mental issue in Hong Kong oh. from all the stress. It's a, re- it can be really mild, it can be heavy, but then mm-hmm. majority of people got a slight depression mm-hmm. due to work issue. It's a financial issue, mm. like, and that's facts in Hong Kong. Mm. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is complete. Actually, this is the reason. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is this is the fundamental problem, and it's the fund and it's not exclusive to Hong Kong. <laughs> you know, for sure. I think, I think it's around the world. It's totally yeah. around the world. So, so, so that's. It's not that it's only this place. It's that this place. That first of all, educational level, you know, literacy level, and so on in Hong Kong, I imagine, is astronomically high. You know, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, so that's one, you know, sort of hurdle that a lot of mm-hmm. communities, even the United States, you know, yeah. like there's some people who have absolutely no education, none. In fact, they've got all the wrong education, you know, from mm-hmm. from Instagram. I mean, you know, they got the, uh, like social they got, media, yeah, yeah social yeah. media, and, and 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 social. What do you call it? Like celebrity mm-hmm. crap you know mm-hmm. um, you know so yeah that 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 the, 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 you know there are pockets of the world where there's a real problem and I mm-hmm. don't even know how to begin there mm-hmm. but let's start with places that we know like Hong Kong where okay Hong Kong has a lot of challenges just like every other place but okay they're Hong Kong challenges so you know there's transitions there's you know part of greater China issues and you know there's all kinds of things like that mm-hmm. but they're mostly kind of the mountains are high and the emperor's far away mm-hmm. most of it is really that okay mm-hmm. it's not something to fear every day yeah. the fear every day is 
food, money, money, pay the rent, feed your children, you know, have fundamental living costs. Fundamental living costs and so on. And then you come, they have all these challenges like I was beginning. There was a third one on here I eliminated <laughs> for today's discussion, but you know, it was a financial issue. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I'll bring it up again. Uh, is that the world is going through an enormous transition in terms of how we value things, Yeah. right? So how we, you know, U.S. dollar is being dropped by so many, so it's many BRICS, BRICS countries, you know, like we, it's really a big shift. This is, this is, this is ear earthquake uh, level. Yeah, I see Argentina dropping too and might collapse or like something. Financially, so right, so right. A so lot of don't forget to talk in the mic. Yeah. So yeah. So so you know, like it's so serious. And what we're talking about is is big, mm -hmm. but I think ninety nine percent of the people in the world mm -hmm. are denying it. They're 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 not. They're saying, oh well, you know, keep uh, keep uh, collecting or stuff it in your mattress or you know whatever. They're not preparing themselves to live in their community regardless of what happens economically think about those words regardless of whether it goes up in value goes down in value goes sideways in value collapses expands blows up it's what are you going to do whether whatever happens how are you going to live in your community and make that happen. Mm -hmm. So that's partially what Conscience Land is about. That's why we talk about the Mooncake Coin, which I'd like to actually talk about next. Um, you know, it's yeah, because it's a fun thing and it's economic and it's Hong Kong, mm -hmm. right? Um, but the reason I bring it up in this this way is because I think, for instance, you mentioned that Hong Kong is a is is a is is a good place for this. I agree with you too that Hong Kong has a lot of pressures in the last. How many? Five years? Five, six years. Five, six years mm -hmm. um, that are really extreme. Yeah. And I don't think people were prepared. You know, 99% of people weren't, didn't have the mental, we call it muscular mind, you know, yeah. but we didn't have the mental sort of muscularity mm -hmm. to deal with it. Mm -hmm. It's not their fault. I'm not saying anybody's at fault for this. It's the way they were raised. It was how they got their wow. jobs in the fast you know you're in the job helping people get with the jobs business right you know so like this is a huge it's a seismic shift it's a seismic and I tell me what you think but I think most people are not prepared and they don't have any idea what to do they don't have any idea how to prepare themselves for this eventuality would you agree 100% because like education system and everything that that's being implanted into operating is actually not preparing for all these scenario or like real world situation and that like we're taught like institutionally like how to make money how to do this how to be an engineer how to calculate math instead of like really teaching us how to conclude everything we mentioned before how to be a people of consciousness right. how you do no harm how you don't fear about things or how you do things within the community and leave it and better and leave it better Yep. Yeah, which takes some skill. Howard, what about uh, your, your? What is your study? What are your studies? I'm studying business and economics. Uh huh. Okay. See. So he, yeah, no, See. totally. Yeah. So tell us about it in context of what we're just talking about here. Is it? Are you being prepared? Do you feel you're being prepared in your school? I was taught about a lot of, um, like you know, modeling different economic models or just calculus. And those are just like fundamental parts, but I feel like in the like that kind of education, it's that kind of project that you kind of like work in teams that you kind of pick up some little parts of that part of conscious mm -hmm. land, mm -hmm. and like going into the real world, there are like more issues that you're going to tackle, but without that kind of critical thinking and that kind of mindset about you know like who you really know, who you really are, that kind of things and working on yourself it's just like a lifelong learning process and the school is a fundamental part and there are like also some like liberal arts education help to kind of 
frame that kind of societal change education for you a little bit and the rest of your life you're going to you know just lifelong learn from you know and adapt these kind of changes so basically yeah if that answers your question. no it's totally it's it yeah. but i think the main thing that you're saying is that you're learning how to learn mm -hmm. sort of and especially in groups yeah right because i think you mentioned that and and this is also not to monopolize the microphone, but I'll talk. Uh, I'll talk more a little bit because I used to teach. I don't know if you knew, but I, yeah, I used yeah. to teach, That's and I used to teach in in, in the business program, in the oh. MBA program uh, at CUHK, and and also at HEC in Montreal. And that I didn't teach it anymore because mm -hmm. I don't teach it anymore because I was realizing that you know i was kind of teaching psychopathy you know people oh, to be psychopaths mm -hmm. and, and sociopaths because the the uh, the whole effort was well just the bottom line is money and you know mm. especially mba right well especially mba because <laughs> yeah. you know the, many people don't understand i keep it quiet mba <laughs> programs mba programs i think have been distorted distorted terribly around the world mm -hmm. Um, it, you know, in thinking that it's sort of the masters of the universe kind of, uh, you know, create this uh, super uber 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 uh, you know business person, ultra high ego, ultra ego high ego, and and stuff person. like that, which 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 it does. I mean, that's what a lot of these things uh, end up doing is they say, well, give us the university says, give us a certain amount of money. And we'll have a program for one or two years or three years, yeah. whatever it is, and you will get MBA, right? <laughs> and then you go out in the marketplace and you get a big job yeah. because you have a MBA. Oh, yeah. we we also have a learning because I'm I study in university in Hong Kong, like, uh -huh. and then we actually have a term for those kind of like university, especially. So in Canto, we call it hot team, hot team. So mm -hmm. like. Basically, in English, to put it shorter form, it's like it's not about education anymore. It's about making profit. It's about right. selling courses yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It becomes into like an enterprise yeah. instead of like somewhere you are actually learning knowledge mm. to utilize in real life and then be helpful towards right. everything, learning what you love. But in this case, it's like you get a certificate. It's like buying a certificate. Buying a certificate. Buying a certificate. Yeah. But then you need maybe two years' time yeah. to like pay it by installment and you get that certificate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, totally right. So, on this, on what Howard was pointing out, he said, you know, he's studying right now, and and the thing about Howard, if, if I remember from our discussion before, he's also traveling. I mean, he's going in different. You're you're going in different places in the world. Yes. Right, and you're seeing uh, business, but in different cultural perspectives, which actually is the most valuable thing. Because, you know, the, what you read in a book, you know what? You can get it on the internet cheaper <laughs> and, 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 and maybe better because, you know, there's more points of view, right? Mm -hmm. Not just one book by one, one white dude in, uh, in New York or something, right? Yeah. Like, so that, that's, that's, that's the number one thing. But the number two thing is, is that what is business? Like, what is business? Mm. It's trading. Mm. What? Skill mm. for money yeah. that's basically what it is mm. I have something you need you have something I need to continue doing you know it's providing the amount and supply yeah Thanks. and and so so when you go to different places and see different ways people do business you know in the Middle East in in yeah. in, uh, in in uh, in uh, Europe in mm. in North America etc etc Latin America when you start to see that it's actually not just economic it's mm. really cultural you know, business is really a cultural yeah. enterprise. <laughs> it's a creative cultural enterprise. Mm -hmm. You're creating products and services for what? For the needs of the culture, mm -hmm. right? 100%. Even the culture of food. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the, the spices and the, and, and, and the ingredients are 100%. cultural, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's what actually is being traded is, is yeah. I make my soup with uh, the spice. Yeah. in my in this country so you need that spice and they need soup makers that make that soup mm -hmm. so anyway so i won't go too far on it's just to, to follow up on the idea of what is it that we're preparing people to do what are we preparing people for in conscience land it's not 
only education. It is education. We do have a conscience versity, you know, in, in conscience land. We have our, you know, our idea. It's not an accredited university, mm -hmm. but I know about accreditation in universities because I was president of the MBA Association in my school in Canada, and I was the one that brought in these certifications for the MBA program. So I'm familiar with what is the, uh, not only the process, but you know the the sort of uh, promotional value of getting uh, you know certified by a, a, a third party agency as mm -hmm. for as as to how this university ranks against this university in terms of you know their their teaching ability and, and the employment after after graduation these yeah. kind of things, which are mostly metrics that actually don't matter. Mm -hmm. They don't matter at all. You know, it doesn't matter who. It matters who teaches you. You know, it doesn't matter what the book is. It doesn't matter what the classroom looks like. Mm -hmm. It matters who teaches you. Who are you following? Who are you following? Yeah. Like, what is the model? Like, what, what, is it ethical or is it just, you know, money? Like you said, you know, just like, here's a trick to make money. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what are we doing that for? Why are we teaching that? Okay, so let's not dwell too much on that, except to say that that is what Conscience Land's idea is, mm -hmm. is to create education it could be like physical education too, definitely. It's yeah. very important. Yes. Physical, mm -hmm. mental, spiritual, mm -hmm. right? Education. Not to teach you, you have to follow this religion or something. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about like you need to understand that the world is not just material. Yeah. It's not. In fact, it's really not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's an illusion, yeah. right? It, it, it's not material. It is essentially spiritual, which you could even say is sort of cultural spiritual. You know, it's, a, it's, the, it's, the, it's the culture of spirit, mm -hmm. esprit in mm -hmm. French, you know, esprit, mm -hmm. esprit. Yeah. spirit. Mm. And so that's what we're trying to communicate here in, in Conscience Land, that we all learn from each other. Yeah. We actually have everything inside already. The whole universe is in there, you know, mm -hmm. it's all there. We're just a reflection of the universe in our DNA and, you know, all, you know, deep and mixed up. But, you know, it's not, it's, it's, we're, we've got everything here. It's just that we have de denied it. And it's not even us, our own fault, really, as individuals. Yeah. We have been misled and denied access to ourselves and our oneness mm -hmm. for millennia. Mm -hmm. Long, 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 long time. Mm -hmm. And others have stepped into that breach between us and the universe source mm -hmm. and they have said well follow me do what I tell you pray to me you know do my thing give me food you know big, bring me a special building you know do that and then you're going to get connected which is garbage right that's not true that's a lot of info. <laughs> well, but it's, uh, you know, and I don't mind to offend anyone if you're highly religious, you know, and, you, and you're following some particular religion. That's good. There's no problem. I agree with your point. Right. But but the, the all religions, when you start to get down to it, they pretty much, if they're legitimate religions, they all agree on the same point: is that our our, our objective is to connect with source. So it could be as simple as you go out in the grass and take your shoes off and take your socks off and you walk in the grass. Mm -hmm. What's the source of, of our energy in the earth, uh, on the earth? It's the sun and it's the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay? Negative ions exchange with positive ions. It balances out our, our polarity as, mm -hmm. as, a, as a little mammal walking along the... <laughs> On the, on the planet, yeah. right? And and it balances things out. It releases a lot of energy or exchanges energy, balances out energy. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not a religious thought. That's physical. That's physics. Yeah. It's just the balance. That's why I always I tell people to touch grass from time to time. Touch yeah. grass. Yeah. Just go out. Go to the beach. Go to the sea. Yeah. Sea is particularly important. Not everybody can do that, but it's, you know, it's salt water. It's the life. It's where. It's what's inside our bodies. For gosh sakes, mm -hmm. you know. It's so nice. It's right. I mean, yeah. 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 Because, because we're in our it. element. Yeah. Right? We're in our element, and and water itself. I mean, we're getting all the woo woo here, but yeah. you know, water, water. I don't know if you have 
you know, talked about this with your family or friends, but water has many states, right? Mm -hmm. We think of it as, uh, you know, liquid, gas, and, uh, and uh, what is it? Frozen, solid, solid, ice. ice. Yeah, solid, solid, liquid, gas. Yeah. Um, but it actually has fourth and probably a fifth state. But the, the potential fifth state being it is consciousness. It is a, a repository mm -hmm. for information. Have you ever had a, have you ever like, I know you've had a shower, but have you ever, have you ever uh, felt like when you have a bath or a shower that you kind of have ideas or you, your mind goes calmer and you, and things come to you? Did yeah. that happen with you? Taking a, a shower to me is a, like a me time thing. Mm -hmm. So I think inside I, I, um, I reflect myself inside and then I plan for the future yeah. also mm -hmm. inside. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I take a long bath. <laughs> yeah, but, but, and, and you feel not only better, like you feel better because it's sort of relaxing and things, but... Mm -hmm. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but are, are you feeling sort of more connected yeah. with the with the with the universe? And at least for me, this is this is it. Yeah. The yeah. water is water. What are we made up of? Water. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You know. So we're just connecting with what we are. Yeah. And the, if you if you think of it in terms of a memory bank, mm -hmm. it's a fluid memory. Uh, Bruce Lee, you know, Bruce Lee. be water. Yeah. Be water, my friend. You know. Mm -hmm. It, it, water is incredibly important. So it originates a lot with like our fetus form when you know, we are inside the womb. We are actually in a pile of water. It's yeah, water. Basically, mm. in a pile of water. It's water. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys. Look, it, this been a. I've enjoyed this Change Wednesday. Me too. Yeah. Enormously. Me Likewise. Too. Yeah. So what we need to do is go forth. We need to develop some programs like Mooncake Coin. You know, we got to get some things happening that people can can participate in, mm -hmm. right, on the digital side. But as as we spoke about earlier, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the idea of the, of the mooncake coin, for example, is this is a traditional Chinese uh, festival, festival yeah. and, and, mm -hmm. and, and activity and meaningfulness and family uh, thing. So let's try to bridge and create like a really fun thing, not just an app, Literally a fun sort of dimensional game or something. Something could be to do with the tasting. It could be doing gifting. It could be doing with you know visiting neighbors and making friends and these kind of things. Mm. Let's get something happening which really changes. Like a lock. Like what? Like a lock. Yeah, it's a conscious LARP. Mm -hmm. It's a live action role playing game, mm -hmm. and and we, we we use the the the, the mooncake. mooncake coin. Why? Because it's a season. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a season for family. Yeah. yeah. So we say, look, it's a season for family. We're introducing a new thing. It's digital, yeah, but it's not just digital. It's like connecting. You're 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 using it and you're starting to have a sort of ownership purchase of something, but it's not a bar of gold, it's not a jewelry, it's not a this, it's not it's something you can actually give away or share or lend or you know, whatever, taste. Yeah. And, and it's, we're just showing you that this digital world does not have to be, uh, you know, just collecting, uh, I don't know, loyalty points or something. And, you know, it's not just economic being better than the next person. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it is now. Competing. Competing, you know, competing. I got more Bitcoin than someone else, you know. Like it that I think if we get into the area of the of the three finger token, which is a friendship token, pay it forward friendship token, and we get the, the we get the mooncake coin because it's an interesting thing uh, that has already a lot of publicity for thousand years <laughs> or two thousand years. I don't know how long the mooncake tradition has been around in China. Do you know? A few thousand, actually. Yeah, yeah. Thousands, so a few thousand, thousand years. Thousands, so we got a lot of publicity thousands, behind it, right? There's a lot thousands of thousands of years. Yeah, thousands of years. So let's, you know, look at those thousands of years. Mm -hmm. What has been the objective? Like family, source, fun, food, yeah. taste, mm -hmm. all kinds of fa happy, fun things. Let's digitize it in some fashion, but not in a in a like a cold digital way. Let's make it fun. Yeah. 
getting people more engaged than ever. Okay, folks, peace. Peace. Plus one. Yay. Join the fun in Conscience Land. Share the three finger sustainability symbol with your friends yeah. and uh, get them, encourage them to become citizens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're an ambassador. When you do that, you're an ambassador. You start to share the message. We grow Conscience Land around the world mm -hmm. from Hong Kong. And, uh, and, it, uh, and it makes things happen. Okay, guys and girls? Yeah. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Solid. Happy Change Wednesday. Happy Change Wednesday. Happy Change Remember Wednesday. to smile, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!